friends, so let me explain what's going to be going on here before I get into the game. So this is a game called Jacksmith, so you guys might have heard of this, you might have played it, you might not even know what the heck it is. Basically, I've played it just a little tiny itty bitty bit, I've played maybe, I don't know, um, what did I play? I played a couple days. I don't know what the heck that's considered in this one. But I played probably like three or four days where I got a few little different cannonballs and stuff like that. But basically I'm gonna go through this and play as I'm not I don't even know if I'm gonna play through the entire game. I might just play a little bit just to show you guys what it is, and if you guys like it, you guys can start playing it. And if you guys really want me to finish the entire game, I might end up doing that. So what actually happens in this game? Well, if you notice this little dog right here, which is kind of cool, it tells you what kind of monsters are coming up, and then what you have to do is you have to craft. So you have to make certain things, like, for example, you get the order, and then you have to make a sword. So we're going to craft a sword. So now what you have to do is just pick the random things you're going to make, and we're just going to make it all off of copper, because that is free, and then all you want to do is, I know there's really not that much to commentate here, but you're just going to uh, basically just melt the copper, pull this thing kind of slow, and it tells you exactly what to do and how to make all these little different items here. And then you just have to do different things like this. I may actually just do like one full day of this and then um, assume that you guys understand what the game is about. And I'm not the best weapon, ma weapon maker in the entire world by any means, so of course I understand that. Um, perfect, yay! Um, but I think I'm okay, I guess, at weapon making. I can align things fairly well. And let's just finish this. We finished a sword, and now you can see how well we did. 100, 199% on the handle. So that's not bad whatsoever. And we have to get three of them. So let's build another sword. Get this up here, and we'll get some copper in here. You know, there's really not that much to talk about. That's really the problem here. And once you get a little bit further, you actually don't do this as much. You, like, don't actually sit here and, like, pump that up. You kind of got to wait and, like do everything all at once basically so uh we're gonna keep hammering this bad boy gotta hammer pretty much the entire thing and i guess you're supposed to do it kind of fast like kind of like this two and boom i think that's good enough i hope and hopefully we'll get the handle as perfect yeah there we go good screw you that was perfect all right whatever finish 93 percent on the handle F that noise. This pig doesn't have a hat, and the other ones have hats or something. And you do actually get different items and stuff along the way, which is kind of interesting how you do different items, but you actually don't really get to do too much strategy with the item picking or anything. It's kind of just making different items for different situations, and honestly, it really doesn't matter that much. You can just make whatever the frick you want, just make uh, pretty much the best one. I guess that's really what it is. It's really easy. It's not really as much of a strategy game as it is just a doing things game. Um, and I don't know, right there, I guess. So now let's take our time a little bit more on this and maybe get some more perfects, I guess. Awesome. Awesomes, I want perfects. Shut up. 99% on the handle, but I really don't think I did too bad. 100, 199, boom, you completed the days quicker, blah blah blah, we get time bonus of 46 of these green gem thing with bobs. And now we actually battle. So this is what, what happens in the battle. You really don't do too much, most of the time you just kind of watch. And you just collect things. So you just kind of like run over these and just keep collecting things. And basically if you made your weapons good, you can kill all of these guys really really easily. If you made your weapons bad, what happens is is your weapons break, and these guys don't get to fight everybody, which is kind of sad. So I get experience points as well by killing all these stupid little monsters. And here's the durability down here. All I have to do is kill three monsters, which should be really, really easy, because I made all of my weapons fairly well. So now we're just gathering all this random nonsense, all this copper and iron, or whatever the heck it is I need now. And this guy should die fairly easy as well. And if you notice, we're actually back here. That's my little wagon thing on the bottom. And that's when you can shoot cannons out of and stuff like that, cannonballs, and start killing all these guys. And then at the end of each of these little day things, what happens is, is you get to a chest. And then you knock open the chest and you steal all these random things. So we get epic weapon designs, parts, and stuff like that. And we'll just continue here. Find a scroll of an epic weapon design. So now we got a simple bow, so that's pretty sweet um, to get a bow. And we're just going to play at the end today, we're going to play, it's not a day, I guess it's like a series of days. We'll play five days, I guess, and we'll see what you guys think about it. One, two, three, four, 
We have four enemies now. So here, they're just random enemy enemies. And you can actually see the enemies over here. And now you have to order this, and we'll make a bow. So I'm going to show you guys how to make a bow now. This is just a simple bow. You can do different types of bows. And we're actually going to make it out of the stronger material, which is bronze. So we're just going to pump this up really fast. And if you want to multitask, you can actually go back and uh, do other things. But we don't need to multitask because nobody else is there yet. And I know that, okay, now they just got here, so let's go back. We'll order his thing on Bob. He's going to make a bow as well, so we'll get a bow going. We'll just make it out of copper, and um, we'll go back here and work on this bow while we're doing that. And the way I like to do it is I like to get it like right over to, since, we're, it's, since it's time relevant, we're not going to do it quite as much. But I like to like put it like right over by that screw. We'll add this on here. I'm um, head on back and see how my copper is doing, and now we're going to pull this down and stretch out this bow as well. So we're going to stretch out this bow, and you can work on multiple things at once, which is kind of like the interesting part about the thing. So my bow is not perfect, but that's okay. I'm kind of doing this for speed. I really don't care how perfect it is. I think it's pretty much good enough. These bows are actually usually pretty easy to make. Pretty easy to get perfects on uh, all these random things. So I just made one bow. 100, 100, 100. Yay! It's a perfect bow. We'll order him, and he's going to get a sword. So we got our sword going here. Um, we'll make it out of copper, of course. We'll go back and start and finish our bow. So we just have to add like one part to our bow and perfection, and we're done with this bow. So I just pretty much add random parts to my bows. I really don't make them like any certain way usually yet. I don't know. I'm assuming that there's some sort of strategy to making certain parts and certain things or getting certain weapon designs and all that nonsense. But as of right now, it's not that important. So I'm gonna, since I've been uh, having too many hammer swings left over, I'm going to kind of go a little bit slower here. And there we go. And hopefully that shouldn't be at like a zero or anything. That one's kind of hard to put on. I only got an awesome. Perfect. And another perfect. Yay. So that might get 100% for that one. Oh, 99% on the hammering. Screw you. And we get a bunch of time bonuses here. We got 46 again, so we're pretty much perfect there. And let's move on to the battle. So now I have two archers, and I have one stronger archer. And if you notice, we're probably going to kill this guy really, really fast. Just pick up all his little thingamabobs. Sooner or later, we're going to get cannonballs over here, which uh, I can shoot my cannonballs at my enemies and do some extra damage. And there's a bunch of different cannonballs. Um, I got two cannonballs. There's like a regular cannonball and a fire cannonball. And you don't have to actually pick. You just kind of have to press the button enough, which I guess is helpful. And if you notice, we're killing these guys really, really easily. You gotta pick up all these random parts. I wish you could like click on these guys and hurt them a little bit or something, but you don't do that. You just have to hover over everything. And some little stupid snakes, and now we got an arachnip. An arachnip, oh my goodness. Evil arachnips everywhere. Oh man, this arachnip's attacking me. Most guys don't really seem to attack too much. They don't seem to attack too much too often. But what happens is every time you attack your um, strength of your stuff actually goes down. So our sword actually did survive. And now we got all these parts, and we'll get some more stuff out of the chest. Yay! Pick up all the parts out of the chest, and we're done for this day. Move on to the next one. Battle complete. We'll continue on. I wish there was a little faster skip button. But, ooh, I got a cannonball. Okay, sweet. So don't get cannonballs. That's what I was just telling you guys about. And the next looks like we're going to get axes. Skip all this nonsense. And let's move over here. This guy's like, I'm going to sell you crap, and uh, I'm going to rip you off. So blah, 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 blah. Skippity skip. I don't care about you, this little purple duck right here. I don't want to visit the, I don't want to visit the shop, but I guess we have to. So let's leave the shop. Okay. What are we going to craft? So we're going to have to craft a bow. Craft a bow here. Um, make it out of iron, actually. Why not? We can take his order. We're probably going to have to make another bow or another sword. Okay, we're going to craft a bow. We'll make this one out of bronze. We have to make bronze. And, um... Yep, there we go. There's the other one. I thought this was actually a different guy, but it wasn't. So let's actually just hurry this up a little bit, finish this one, pump it up a little bit. And you don't want to pull this thing down too fast, or actually, like, the thing, like, this is, like, the forging part, and you can actually mess up the forging. So stretching, add this on here, and the iron one's probably done, so I'm going to move on back here, and pretty much perfect here. So you kind of have to multitask. That's the like hardest part about this. And you notice over here the little question mark guys can come. This one's the one I made out of iron, so I want to stretch this one well. If I mess up, I'm going to have to fix it. So I'm going to fix this just a little bit. I think that's good enough. 
and another guy is coming. So let's go back here and check this guy out. We're gonna get his sword going, and he's just, we're gonna make this his out of bronze, um, or whatever, or copper. Let's make it out of copper, and let's finish off this bow while that stuff's getting ready. And we're just gonna add random stuff. Like I said, I really don't care what the heck is on these things. They all work just good. I made a hundred percent bow. Yay, perfection. That thing's almost done already, so let's just get this done. Pull this down. You don't want to wait too long or else the forging can actually go bad. Um, so let's hammer this guy a little bit on the fast side. Um, Alright, I messed that up just a little bit, but that's okay. And we're going to get this one. This one's kind of cool, actually. I like the look of this one. Boom. Oh, that was only a good... Oh, poo, I kind of messed that one up pretty bad, actually. 94 and 96. No good. But we're going to make this perfect bow here. I hope. Make it perfect. Yay, perfect bow. 100, 100, 100. I'm really good at making bows for whatever reason. And I'm kind of bad at making swords. I think I'm good at other things, like axes and stuff. We have to get those in a little while. I think the next level we're actually going to build axes. So we got this little bird, little chicken guys, these guys with the bows, the archers. Now we can shoot cannonballs. So uh, what I do is I actually use um, the one key for my cannonball. I use one, and instead of pressing the button over here, you can press it as well. But I feel like it's a lot easier to use hotkeys on things. So now I can use my left hand and my right hand, and just my right hand will just keep uh, picking up all the random crap that we that we knock out of this guy. It doesn't really make sense how it happens, but it does happen. You can shoot cannonballs pretty darn early at these guys. So that'll help out quite a bit. And this, oh my god, his head just fell off, I think. I don't know what just happened, but it looks like he rolled ahead of me. Which is kind of scary, to be totally honest with you. And our guys are just going to easily destroy them all. Cannonballs don't do too much damage, but when you get, once you get a bunch of cannonballs, it actually does help out quite a bit. And one last cannonball, just to knock him out of the park. Iron... We get the treasure chest. So this is the treasure chest for today. We to crystal. Oh, is that crystal already? That's pretty intense. Let's continue and skip. I don't really care. New weapon. We got a double axe. So let's make a double axe today. Skip all this nonsense. We can look at all the designs, the beasts, and the help, and all that. So here we go. We got a axe. So let's get an axe going here. We get a double axe, and um, we'll make it out of. We'll just make it out of copper for now. And I'm gonna heat this up really fast because there's nobody else coming. That's why I made it out of copper. Normally I make my first ones out of something kind of low. So either copper or iron or something like that. Um, and the next guy's coming in here, so let's get him started. He's gonna get another axe. But now we're actually gonna make it out of something strong. So we're gonna make it out of bronze here. It's actually kind of hard to get that guy. But now what you have to do is you just have to line these up pretty much like this. And it's actually really easy to not mess this up. In fact, these white lines almost make it harder to do. So that looks like perfect. All you have to do is add a stick and add a cap, and I think you're pretty much done. Oh, no, you have to add another cap. There we go. So that one's done, and now we should be able to... Oh, construction only 98%? I thought I was going to do better than that. But this one's perfectly timed. Pull this down nice and slow. And I know it doesn't really look that slow, but it is kind of slow. And let's get the next one going here. So this guy's going to need a sword, and I suck at making swords, of course. But let's get going anyways, we'll make it out of bronze, because that's what I have. And start making the axe again. So this is the way I usually make it. I kind of get them kind of straight here. And that one's actually, it looks like my, like my construction was not that great. I didn't really like my construction on that one. In fact, I probably think it's around 90%. Alright. So let's finish that guy, let's see how bad we did. Oh, we didn't do bad at all. Construction was 96%, that's not bad. And now we're going to finish our sword off, and maybe we'll have to do another one, I'm not really sure. But three, it seems like we're sticking with three for quite a while here. Eventually you actually get to the point where you start making like five. Five items in one day. And finish that off right there. That looked pretty good, I think. And this looks really cool, actually. I kind of like that. Awesome. I, I don't, I've never gotten, like, bad before. So, I guess that's good. I also get, I always get, like, perfects, awesomes, or greats. I've never gotten bad. And let's finish this off. So I got another time bonus here. All these things. I can actually go buy stuff from that little stupid bird over there. But I don't know what the heck he is. Maybe, uh... A goose? 
kind of looks like a goose. So now there's five and I missed it. So we kind of have to, oh yeah, I kind of remember the cannonballs. Cannonballs help out quite a bit. And one more hit and we will kill him, yes. And now we can just cannonball that guy kind of early here. We will hurt him if you notice, he's already hurt. And we're, our video is already on 15 minutes. We're almost done with the day, so the video shouldn't be too long actually, which is kind of nice. Hopefully I can win this day though, today though. If I ever died, that would just be really sad. I've never lost a day, I don't think, yet. I've never lost all my units on a day. So that's how easy this game actually is. It's fairly easy to not suck. And another cannonball, but all my guys are actually getting pretty darn weak right now. Except for this axe guy. This axe guy is actually really strong. And that axe guy is completely dead now. So we're going to have to hope for the best on my last axe guy. Oh man, this is getting intense. Are we able to kill these guys? I have no idea. That axe guy looks like he's about to die. We need to use our cannonballs. Alright. Oh, we just died! No! You won't always defeat the monsters on the trail, blah 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 blah. Alright, well, that's like the first time I've ever lost. It's kind of sad. I should have probably made mine a little bit better. Anyways, let's skip all this stuff. And let's, I guess let's shop. We have a bunch of this stuff. Let's buy things. And I guess that'll help out a bunch. A bunch. So let's get, um... Uh, health. Health always helps, so we'll get one of those guys. And I have 305, so I can get some more stuff. Get some poles here. Some health poles. Um, it's only worth three, though. This one's worth five, and it's less. I don't... Oh, it has this, too. That's why. So we'll just get more health over here. Guards. Sure, why not? Um, caps. A health cap. Look at that bad boy, and let's leave the shop. So that should be good enough for us. Now we got a pig, and there's fire guys coming, so I should have gotten some fire stuff. I didn't. So let's get something fire. Too much, I don't have enough for anything. Oh crap. Oh crap. Get our sword going here. And let's make it out of something strong, so we're gonna get our sword guy extremely strong here. Pump this up. Oh yeah, pump it. Pump it harder! And a guy's back over here, so let's order this guy's thing, get his axe going, and we're gonna make this really fast, get back over here, and before this goes, oh no! It went into the orange, so that's kind of sad. It's not gonna be as strong as it normally would, but it's not going to be bad. If you notice, look, it's like already cracked and stuff. And plus this is my strong sword, so that's kind of sad. Alright. So let's get some health here. This looks perfect. This is going to be another health thing. Another per health one thing. And great. There, That shouldn't be too bad, I don't think. 96, 98, 96. Mm, good enough for me. And that one almost went too far as well. Get back here and we'll make a bow and arrow. Oh, I like bows. Bows are my favorite. I always make them well. For whatever reason, I don't know. Finish up our act before we need to do that, and hopefully our construction on this this one will be just a little bit better. Oh, that piece went all the way over there. I don't even know how the heck that happened. So this one looks actually pretty good. I like the look of that. Perfect. Oh, that was great. That wasn't good at all though. And awesome. All right, finish this, and hopefully our thing is not heating up too far. I hope. Oh, perfect. Look at that. Now we're finally making four items. So we're going to have to build another bow, I believe. Another bow, craft, and the bow. Sweet! Simple bow. Make it out of bronze. Get back over here and we'll finish our bow in the meantime. Looks straight enough for me. Add this bad boy. I don't know if this actually helps or if it just like automatically goes in the right spot. I really don't. That didn't look perfect at all, but I guess we can call it perfect. That was just awesome. I kind of sucked there. And, uh, 98%. Oh, no. And I really don't think it matters as long as it's in the green. You just need to get it in the green. It doesn't matter if you get it in, like, certain parts. So get it right there, and... That one's not perfect. A little higher there, and a little higher there, and that's good enough for me. It doesn't look completely straight, but I'm willing to waste it just a little bit. Waste my perfection. And I didn't get perfect again. Wow, I suck. 
Man, I was getting perfect bows last time, and now I'm not. Time bonus, yay, 48. Maybe I should rely on getting better things and not worry about the stupid time bonus. Now we have four guys, maybe that'll help out a bit and get my cannon shooting and stuff. And these guys are, um, killing them a lot better. I should stop going with so much copper and get some more random other stuff. Cannonball this snake. You know, you'd think you could just chop a snake in half with one little axe thing. Like, why does it take so many? A pig roast. There's three pig roasts now. Holy poop cakes. But look at my guys. They're all really strong still. I think we should be able to take down these pig roasts. Uh, hopefully. I don't have anything that's going to actually kill these, uh, red guys, though. So I didn't really explain that too well. Maybe I'll go about that maybe in the next video or something, or, uh, if there is another day thing to this section. I don't really know. But we will actually beat this last guy fairly easily. Um, hopefully at least. We still have this super strong sword guy. That was my strong sword guy. My bow and arrow guys are about to die. It's okay. My axe guy's about to die as well. Axe guy died. Now my sword guy is the last guy. Perfection. Look at that. We beat him. And now he's gonna just chop open the chest really fast and I'll get this bonus stuff over here. And that'll help me out a bunch. So you can't, can't actually cannonball. Can't cannonball the chest. Which is kind of sad. Three different weapon designs for swords, but continue. And, and a pointed shield, sweet. So we got a pointed shield now, and let's, um. Okay, so I already did the day six, and I'm gonna stop the video here, because I should've stopped a little while ago. I should've stopped two days ago, actually. I didn't realize I was getting so far. But these are all fire guys and stuff, so I'm gonna have to buy some fire things. But, uh, I am just going to end the video here, so uh, thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.